So today we're working on a 2001 Crown Vic, the police edition, and we're changing the front and rear brakes. Now, one of the things that I always stress in my videos is safety, safety, safety. As you can see, today I have two tire jacks, I mean two uh, car stands and a tire under there. This is going to be a quick job. Now, the first thing you want to do is locate these nuts right here that you're going to have to remove in order to take this... Uh, bracket off the brake bracket okay so it's gonna be two of them right back there the top one and the bottom one all right and the socket that's gonna do it is a what is this this is a 14 so you're gonna need a 14 socket to remove it on a crown Vic now I'm pretty sure most of the brake uh, the brake mechanisms are going to be the same on almost every other car unless you have um, those uh, padded brakes or I can't remember the name right now but uh, definitely so you're going to need a 14 socket right here and what you're going to do is you're going to place them up there you're going to place them up there and you're going to break them you're going to just break them off right and wrench them wrench them wrench them and uh, sooner or later it's going to get real loose and you're just going to take the top part off right it's gonna come out it's gonna be a little bolt like this and then you should be able to wig it a little bit oh it's pretty tight that's pretty tight so wait let me put the camera on the stand okay so there we go and then you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom one wrench it right off Right there goes the second one. Now you're gonna need what you're gonna need is you're gonna need something to pry in between the brakes and the piston that's uh squeezing the the brake pads, right? So you're gonna need something to pry in there to pull the uh the 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 compressor back, the brake compressor back. Okay, so usually what I do is I get me a, a screwdriver or a tire iron and I just stick it in the middle and bang it back. First, let me take this off to see how much I got to work with. So you can pry this off in many ways. After you get the bolts off, you can pry them off in many ways. It's gonna be a real rough, so don't be scared. All right, don't be scared to use a little force on it. All right, especially if you haven't changed your brakes in a while and it's very compressed, it's gonna be very rough. So, once you take the two bolts off, and then voila there you go now what you want to do is what I was saying earlier about the compression these are the things that when you pump the brakes it squeezes the pads together to stop the car so what you want to do is probably put um, just one one of them back on all right just put one of them back on all right so you're gonna put one back on and probably put maybe both the bolts back in not all the way back in but just back in enough I know it's like doing double work but and then what you're gonna do is put it in there make sure that you put them up against the the compressors and pull them pull them pull them pull them pull them until you compress until you compress those two circles back into the cylinder okay so that's what you want to do you definitely want to pull it back in until you compress it and it goes back in all right because if you don't do that you're not going to be able to put uh the new pads up because these pads are worn down they're beat down but these are not too bad but your pads are worn down and beat down and so it keeps compressing and compressing and compressing until it fits um perfectly on top of it now when you get the new pads they're going to be a lot thicker and a lot harder so you're definitely gonna have to compress this cylinder you got you're definitely gonna have to compress these uh these two um round cylinder things here you're gonna have to pull push them back in with something that's very very strong i think they sell something at autozone where you can wrench it back in but i just i just use the jack and i stick it in the middle and squeeze it back in you know so uh, you repeat that process on uh, four, all four of the cars. And like I said, most of these uh, cars, Crown Vicks, 
or other vehicles come with these uh, padded and the same mechanism, the same thing you do, and you just repeat the process back and forth, and that's how you change some brakes on a Crown Vic and uh, most other cars out there. All right, so like, subscribe, comment. Uh, thanks for joining me once again. Um, if you are confused, let me know. Leave a comment. I can definitely do a dry run to show you how to do it again. Um, but it's pretty simple, pretty easy. You just uh, get the right, the right. Um, I can't remember the name of this thing. You get the right wrench or whatever, and which is going to be a 14. Mine is a Dura Lash. You're going to get a 14, and then you just take these two bolts out, one at the top, one at the bottom. It's going to be a little rough, like I said earlier. Just pull it off, and then you can press them. You can press the two cylinders. Put the new brakes on and there you go and that's how you change some brakes.